Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to go ahead and shout out Kayla Williams. Kayla was one of the first ones to send me this really disturbing story. And it's coming from Knoxville, Tennessee. It's about a 15 year old boy and his name is Xavion Dobson. And he has been hailed a hero by not only people in his community and not only on social media, but by President Obama. So this story is just really, really disturbing. It has a lot of twists and turns. What initially happened is that a 46 year old mother named Lisa Perry, um, she was shot in her apartment by her 23 year old son, Brandon Perry. And Brandon Perry was a member of a gang. So what ended up happening is after they shot his mother, they decided to do a drive-by and just start shooting recklessly throughout the neighborhood where his mother lived. As they're shooting at people randomly, Xavion hears gunshots, people are running. He dives to protect three girls, okay? So while he's diving on them to protect them, he ends up getting shot in the head. The girls, you know, they get up, they try and get him up, and you know, the whole thing is just horrible. He dies instantly right down the sidewalk in front of his friends, his family, his brothers were there. Um, this whole situation is just insane. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Some may say it's too young, but at 15 years old, Xavier Dobson had found his true love. It's what he did. He came home after school, did his homework, and just studied the game and watched film and watched documentaries on all his players and all that. That's what he loved, football. And through their mutual love of the game, Zach and his little brother's relationship grew. So when we got on the same team, football team, that's when our bond just got closer and closer and closer. But on Thursday night, in what's being called a random and senseless act, <laughs> that bond was ripped apart. When I was stepping off, when I stepped off the porch, when the three dudes were walking, I just heard, claw, claw, claw. That's when I started running. Zach hid until he thought the shooting was over. It wasn't until he came out from hiding that he learned what had happened. I go over there and I lift him, and he was just in my, in my hands. I, I didn't think it was robbers. Xavier, get up. I was shaking him, trying to get him up. He just wouldn't. Zach later learned that his brother had jumped on several of the girls he was with to shield them from the bullets. So I guess he was like, man, I got to do something. So he tried to, so he was on the porch. They said he tried to like, like bunker all the chairs right there in front of him. That didn't work. Too young, too full of life, too bright of future. At 15 years old, Xavier Dobson left a hole that feels too big to fill. I miss him. That's, that's all. So you guys just watched the news clip. Now the crazy part about the situation is the young man Brandon Perry, who is Lisa Perry's son, the one who was out there, you know, doing the initial shooting. Well, what ends up happening is that basically he ends up crashing into a house. Once the police get there, they find out that not only did he crash, but that he had been shot as well. So his own passengers, his own homeboys from his gang, the same dudes out there doing dirt with him, they end up shooting him after he ends up crashing the car. They end up jumping and fleeing the scene. One of these guys has been caught. His name is Christopher Bassett, so he ran and he fled the scene, but he was caught. They're still looking for the second guy. You know, this whole situation is just insane. You know, one person is shot, two people are dead, you know, this 15-year-old boy barely got to live his life. He was an outstanding football player. He was a good student, overall good person. Nobody had any issues out of this kid. He was being raised well by his mother and his father. You know, it's really sad that kids like this lose their life for doing nothing more than being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Rest in peace to Xavion Dobson. You know, my prayers are with him and his family. The whole situation is just a mess. And I hope that the other guys caught and both of these guys are given life in prison. You know, this whole situation is just crazy. It's sad how one bad decision can affect a wide range of people. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Xavion Dobson. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.